You guys ready? I have a common Asian tag. Is that how you say? Common Asian girl tag today. I think it's really fun. I was browsing Tumblr and then I've seen this tag. I've seen a couple videos that of like you know Asian YouTubers been do, like done it before. So I think why not? It'll be fun. I never done a tag before. I think it'll be fun to do a video of tag too. So let's get started. So the first question is, what is your favorite flavor of boba tea? I like to get the coconut milk tea. I like to go with milk tea better than smoothie. I think the texture, I think smoothie is so cold to the point that it's make the boba, like the tapioca balls, get really hard. And so I don't like smoothie. I like milk tea only. So usually coconut milk tea. How often do you eat rice? I don't really eat rice every often. I eat a lot of noodles. So I kind of like the same as rice, I think. Um, so I do eat that very, like, technically every day. Every day of the past week. Um, I don't know about rice. Rice like two days a week. I think that's mostly the amount that I eat. So do you wear glasses or contacts? I don't. I don't wear glasses. I don't wear contacts. Now let's hope that I would never have to. But I do see myself in the future that I may have to. With all the amounts of like computer works I have and reading. Ah, do you wear shoes inside your house? No. It's actually one of my phobia. I hate it when someone goes to my house and wear shoes inside. Like to be honest, I give people crap. It's actually my boyfriend. Like if he just accidentally wear his shoes inside, I'll be like, are you really like seriously? So do you wear, oh no, sorry. Are you a good driver? No, I take bus most of my life to be honest. I've been taking buses to school back and forth, back and forth for like four years. Um, even to my volunteer place, to the hospitals, clinics, I've been doing that. Um, so I don't really think I'm a good driver at all. Do you get good grades? Now that's a very good answer, uh, questions. And my answer for it will be, yes, I have a 4.0 the last like spring term and I have, I do consider myself a pretty high GPA. Wow. Okay. Do you play a musical instrument? No, technically no. My mom did try like back in the day when I was like, I think I was third grade and she was trying to enroll me into this music class that you play like, I think piano or something. Trust me, most of my friends know how to play piano. That's your common Asian thing again. So I I was not good with music. I was not born with anything to do with music. So I ended up, the guy was, so I was living in Vietnam. So technically your teachers can beat you. So he was beating the crap out of me for being so stupid with music. And so at the end I convinced my mom like, hey, you gotta be like you gotta look at this because I'm not good at music at all. So I stopped going to music class and that's it. That's the end of my music journal. Do you coupon? I do. Just not as much. I've seen a lot of my friends been doing it and they do a lot. Like extensively. I don't. I usually just like, oh if you give me a sale, if if the coupons happen to be like on the table, I'll use it. Um, I don't usually hunt for them. Do you like K-pop or K-dramas? Mm -hmm. I love K-pop. I love K-pop. I cannot, I don't think I will be, like I, I like K-pop more than anything else to be honest. Um, I do, no, I mean I do like ja Japanese songs too, like Japanese pop um, or K-dramas. K-dramas, I used to really love them but then, uh, as times go by, school got really serious. I had to study more, so I don't. I'm not been keeping track of it at all. So I don't know. My passion for it is still there. 
um, noodles or rice? Noodles. Is your hair hard to curve? Yes. My hair has always been like this. It's either really straight, really messy, in a braid, that's it. Like in a ponytail or a bun, that's it. When I curl my hair, within an hour my hair will become like normal again. Like it just straights out like nobody, nobody business. And I will take, it will take me like an hour to curl them. And in the end I'll just like, lady, you shouldn't even try to curl us. So, what age do you get mistaken for? I got mistaken for being underage. Um, just like yesterday, I attended a graduation party and I drove there and it's pretty far away. But the lady, the mom, like my friend's mom, came on asking like, hey, you want some wine? And I was like, no. In the end, she's like, are you underage? And I'm like, no, I'm the same age as your daughter. And and my, like her mom was like, you look really young. You look like a baby. I'm like, yeah, thank you. I think apparently, yes, every time I go to the bar at Cub, they always ask for my ID and they check it so extensively. They'll look at the ID, they'll look at me. Look at your ID. Mm -mm. Is this really you? Yes, it's me. What? At what age were you allowed to date? I started dating when I was 20. I mean, I had some, like, you know, feeling in the past, but anything. But, like, at the age of 20, it was when, like, I actually took my boyfriend home and, like, my actual boyfriend, he was, like, my first boyfriend, too, like, to officially introduce to my parents. So, so technically, I was allowed to date when I was 20. I kind of know, too. I kind of know the number in my head without having to ask. What specific type of Asian are you? I am Vietnamese, Chinese, and a little French. So I think I'm not really like Korean or Japanese. I got mistaken for Korean and Japanese. Are your, are your parents, are your parents racist? No, my parents are very open-minded to be honest. They're like the most open-minded that you ever seen before given me having like a totally like a boyfriend that totally not Asian. My brother have a girlfriend that totally not Asians and they are just like, oh, we love all of you. So I don't think my parents are racist. Do you like sushi? Yes. There'll be time I crave sushi so bad that I was just like, I'm gonna die. I need to eat sushi right now. Especially wasabi and sushi. Can you use chopstick? Obviously, like I mastered skills of using chopsticks. You should have a battle with me. Do your pet do your best Asian pose. I always do this. This is how I do it. Or like, I'll be like one hand like this and one hand be like, hey. That's a standard Asian one. B side. Can you speak the language? Yes, I can speak Vietnamese fluently. I can read and write in Vietnamese too. If you give me slang words, I'll be like, hey, I understand it. I like I can type it in and read it just fine. Um, for Chinese, it'll be just more basic. I the only thing I think I understand Chinese like listen better like than write or read or anything else. I, I don't think I can afford having a regular conversation in Chinese at all. What are, this is the last question. So what are your favorite Asian candies or snacks? Now, I don't remember the brands of them, but I try not to buy them every time I go to Asian market because if I buy them, I'll buy like 10 bags. Um, they are like the little, like corn, like corn balls. I don't know how to explain them. They like really fluffy and really nice. They're not like popcorn. They're made from corn, but they're in the little ball and really fluffy, and they kind of powdery on the outside. They're just wonderful. They're just heaven. I love them. As for like the regular type of candies, I like tamarind candies. I like the regular coffee candies that you find. Um, sometimes I like Kit Kat, green tea Kit Kat, because I think it's not too sweet, it's just perfect. 
I don't like to like sweet candies that much. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Thank you for watching. If you want to do this tag, keep on doing it. It's really fun. I think I'll do more tag because it's so fun. I really enjoying it. It's better than like thinking hard about something else. Like, ugh, tag is just so perfect. I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. I'm a crazy lady.